Design concept of the Bataan Cavite interlinked bridge. Bataan and Cavite were among the first provinces to rise in revolt against the Spanish tyranny. Both provinces had its own history of struggles for centuries under foreign colonizers. In the 1898 Malolos Convention, two of Bataan's patriotic sons fought hard in ensuring religious freedom for its citizens. It was the deep faith of the people that brought strength and courage to the men and women who gallantly stood their ground and even sacrificed their lives to defend their land. From the Spanish colonization to the Japanese invasion and the American occupation, the citizens of Bataan firmly clung to the power of their faith that eventually led to their freedom. In recognition of the gallantry and sacrifices of the citizens who staged the last defensive stand in Bataan, a national landmark was erected in Mount Samad called Dambana Nankagitingan. To further immortalize the bravery and tenacity of the Bataenos, our design concept of the Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge showcases the image of two clasped hands depicting a gesture of worship. Hence its name, Sampalataya Bridge. The concrete pylons are partially cladded with duplex stainless steel framed composite panels of sculptural abstract images of two hands representative of the various forms of faiths in the country. This design concept is carried on to the next bridge span from Corregidor to Cavite. With its own struggles from all of the colonizers who took control of the country for centuries, Corregidor was also the seat of armed conflict against the Spanish domination. Today, the South Channel where the interlink bridge from Corregidor to Cavite will be constructed is the route for commercial inter-island vessels and international cargo ships. The design concept of a pair of clasped hands expressed the victory of the people. Therefore, it is named the Pasalamat Bridge. It speaks volumes about the progress and the freedom that the courageous people of Bataan and Cavite have fought hard for.